how we are. I don't even know. We are into day two of recovery. Maybe the full first day of what will be the full first day of recovery from food poisoning. Oh, I'm definitely getting some, a little bit of energy back, but I may have already exhausted that energy source um, by going running across town to Trader Joe's so I could pick up bone broth, which I think was so worth it. So I stocked up like on six bags, which I absolutely love. Um, I can be picky when it comes to bone broth flavors and theirs is just, I can rely on it. Bone broth, dry toast, applesauce. Have some coconut water. But anyway, I'm gonna chill. Get on the flicks. from two days off to four days off because I had to call in for food poisoning. And I guess with food poisoning, it's an automatic, excuse the hair as we're drying, it's an automatic 48 hours. So thank you for the time off, but was it really enjoyable? And oh my gosh, that was such a doozy to go through that. No, thank you. No, thank you. I'd much rather not have had that time off and have my body happy and healthy because that that was brutal babes that was so brutal and my body is still recovering and kind of blah and just bleh. but we are back at work I think it is definitely safe to say that um, <laughs> all my work in trying to transition to a new schedule has probably been undone over the last four days <laughs> that I have been off um, with definitely sleeping through the night. But the last couple nights, I don't even know if this is helpful, but the last couple nights when I've gotten, uh, when I've woken up in the wee hours, I've ended up actually getting up and staying up for a while. So I'm still, my body is semi getting used to, or I guess, yeah, getting used to being up during those hours. Don't know if that was helpful at all, but we're doing it. Um, it was definitely hard waking up, but not as much of a shock to the system because I think I'm getting just used to the overall, you know, that this is what we're doing and having a strong, positive mindset. Um, and I also just discovered this new song today that I heard when I was shopping for a new pair of black pants for work because I shrunk mine in the dryer last week. Um, and it is just the total vibes and it's just. Oh, it just makes me feel so good. So I've just been rocking out to that and playing that over and over again. And so, yeah, this is my third week on Grave, going Grave. And yeah, we are, what, a couple days in. I will be clocking in 10 minutes, which will be on a Tuesday, going up on a Tuesday. But yeah, I'm going to listen to the song another time and then head in there and clock in and have an amazing night, an amazing shift. Uh, the bar that I'm at is no smoking, so hell yeah. Um, I also got uh, this whole eucalyptus bunch from Trader Joe's uh, to put in the shower, so that will be nice too. And I brought some tea with me tonight and my good old trusty bone broth. Happy shift, let's make that money. So I'm on break right now. This is, this is rough, babes, I'm not gonna lie. 
<laughs> I'm not gonna lie. My body is not, is, is not having, my body is not having being here. I did start to feel overheated and like I was gonna pass out the way I did the first night. Working brave. So, yeah, my body's definitely still weak and healing and trying to get back to its normal self. So, um, and I'm sure, you know, with my schedule probably flip-flopping or flopping back to what it was the last few days. And so with it healing and trying to transition back into grave, my body is just, yeah, it's really unhappy right now. Um, I am going to try and have some carrots get in some vitamin C. They actually taste really good right now, so I think my body will happily welcome them. So yeah, gonna watch a little something on my phone for a few. Sip on the rest of this bone broth. Bone broth, keep drinking water. I'm gonna bang out these hours. It is really slow. Sorry, bang out these next few hours. It's really slow, sorry for the angle, but that's okay, we're just doing it like this right now. Um. Yeah, it's really slow, but the conversation is chill, cool with my coworkers, so just gonna keep it moving. And looking forward to when I can crawl into bed. It's gonna be so good, so good, so good. I'm off. It's like a little after 6.15. I called and, uh, oh my gosh, I called a manager and so the bar that I was covering is now um, just closed until the eight o'clock person comes in but it's like my system I mean the symptoms got all picked up again like they all started happening again I am really thankful that I get to go home and get in bed right now because this is not fun I literally thought I was feeling better too and so, like, I'm bummed that I'm not feeling as good as I thought it was, at least. I don't know what what is happening. But, but I hope this wraps itself up soon. <sighs> the doctor wrote me a doctor's note, or is which will extend the next couple days. I think I'm legit over being laid up on the couch or like relaxing. Like at this point, it's just getting in the way of life and I want to get stuff done and I want to feel good and I want to feel bright and sunny and cheerful and dancing around like a little butterfly. Like, <laughs> like that's, that's what I want to feel. But I know that my body needs rest, so I need to just let that rest happen so I'm just looking for like the next series <laughs> that I can just like get lost into and kind of just watch all day fall asleep and then if I wake up pick up where I left off and fall back to sleep and just feel cozy in that space while my body's healing and getting back I'm sorry <laughs> this is not a good angle but Whatever, my shoulder hurts, my body aches. Kabush. Come on, let's go. Your girl is feeling so much better. Got the energy flowing. I am manifesting the shit out of my shit right now, okay? 
that's all I will say. Today's a great day. You're capable of anything you set your mind to. You know that. You know that deep, deep down you are the creator of your reality. Whatever you set your mind to will come true. Use your words. You speak your reality, all your dreams and goals into existence. You got this. I believe in you. It's only a matter of time. Yes, yes, yes. It's a beautiful day. Many blessings. I did the damn thing. I put in my order. I was all like, yes, universe, I want that. And the universe is like, okay, girl, I got you. Just give me a couple days and it's on the way. And I'm like, thank you. Already living in that energy. I love it, love it, love it. Can't wait to share. All good things. It's raining and it's such a gloomy day and it's so like cozy. I've asked Aaron. I was all like, okay, so you're gonna call in today and we're gonna watch Hocus Pocus, right? <laughs> we can make some popcorn and brownies. He said yes, but I think he was just saying that to make me feel better because in reality, he's gonna go to work. But nice to think about. <laughs> but yeah, it makes me wanna get all cozy. I replaced the light bulbs in the, on the, the front of the house. When I went to go pick them up, I was reminded of those colorful ones that you could change all different colors in an app on your phone. So I got those. So now they're purple. And then, you know, we can change them to whatever color. It's just, it's a great, great day. I can feel like some new energy coming in. The rain cleanses and washes things away. So it's just all, all good things that I'm here just receiving. I'm just here receiving. Mm. I'm all like, universe is like, Matching, matching my frequency. Yes, what I'm putting out mm, is what I'm gonna get back. Yes, yes, yes. So many blessings. Mwah. Purple rain. <laughs> How perfect is that? Purple rain. Good morning. <laughs> Is that a burp? Good morning. That looks like I'm scratching myself. Um, like if I don't remember, I was scratching myself. Good morning. So I am downtown um, meeting up with a friend um, to help them out with something. Um, but I'm by the courthouse, and while I'm sitting, waiting for them to arrive, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have all this extra change. I think I'm gonna go around putting it in the parking meters uh, so nobody gets a ticket today. Um, so yeah, I thought that would, would be fun and nice, and um, yeah, just a nice little good deed, passing on some energy, passing on some kindness and good energy. So, yay! La, 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 la. Like two dollar bill. But look at all this! I can put all of this in the meters today. <laughs> Take that, parking people. <laughs> There you go, friend. Oop. Okay. Yay. I hope I'm not missing something. <laughs> We're all like free parking from noon to one. But yay. Okay. Got him. Got him. How about you, friend? How are you doing down here? Oh, wow. Okay. Out of time as well. What? I feel like I'm missing something. Does everybody normally run out of? You know what? Hopefully, this is just perfect timing, honestly. There you go. 24. Let's see, 31. Oh, 
That feels good. Good deed for the day. I am going to get my hair did. Decided last minute. And she had one appointment left today. I booked like at 2.30 and her appointment is at five o'clock. So I've been going back and forth, but I think I ultimately know what I want to do. It's just, I think making that decision. There's a lot that goes into your hair and how you feel about it. And there's so much kind of identity that can be wrapped up in it and a part of me has been longing and wanting to go back to my natural dark hair but I know that when I've done that it can kind of be a shock to me because it kind of reminds me of the past and just triggering. Hold Got on. my drink! Got my girl's drink. I think yeah I think it's time I'm ready to go back to my dark hair, fully dark hair, tone down this blonde, maybe keep some highlights, but the last time that I've had my hair all dark, I don't know, I think it was kind of triggering taking me to the past or something and me seeing myself as a past version of myself when maybe I wasn't the happiest in life. So anyway, I'm ready to bring about new energy with my dark hair and shed some shit and bring on a new vibe and just live in my goddess power. And he was like, give me like five minutes. He's like, I want to hold the baby. I was like, okay. Aww. Five minutes? Mm -hmm. And he was like, yeah, that's because you're small. And like whatever, Dad. Kind of love this. little bit of an adjustment, but I love it. And so interesting how color theory works. Like in relationship to my makeup too. Like I feel like I almost look more pale with my hair being dark, but that's, I've always had very fair skin. Interesting, like when my hair was lighter or more blonde, I feel like you could tell I was wearing makeup. And now that my hair is darker, it almost seems like my makeup is non-existent. Granted, it's not super fresh, you know? It's a few hours old, but like, what? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I love it. I think it's gonna get take some getting used to. And I feel like, I'm like, do I almost look like too like plain now? Cause I was like, I was also pink and then blonde. And now this looks more subtled and I love it, but I don't know, I'm like, am I missing that like in your face pop? But I don't know, I don't know. I love it. Tanya did such an amazing job the way she always does. Like she really does work magic. She has magic in her hands. It's just like, you know, getting comfortable with seeing yourself in the mirror, you know? But like, it's amazing, the color is amazing, the cut's amazing, like everything. Hello, happy chappy. Hi. <laughs> Are you ready for dinner? Andy, you are. Chichu Bobo is, huh? Hi, Umichi.
going to have to learn how to operate again because I got some claws. I am just feeling called back to the darkness again. Seriously, just rocking all the dark stuff. My nails always used to be dark. Always, always, always. Like the lightest I would go would be like a dark gray or something. I always loved deep, dark, almost black looking colors. And then spiritual awakening type of happened and I super went like, like super kind of natural and light and lots of like light pinks and white and sparkles and lots of color. And now I feel like I'm and I shied away from the dark stuff because I didn't like it anymore. And now I feel like I'm being called to it again or kind of want it. But I think it's been so long that it's almost like a shock. So I like, do I like it? I don't know. You know that like I want it, but did I? And I think maybe it's just getting used to seeing it on myself again. <laughs>